my name is Yvette and today I am doing the end of the year book tag. This was created by Errol Bosset and I'll leave that video linked down below. I cannot believe we're getting towards the end of 2017. It seems like this year has just flown by. There are six questions on this tag so let's just get right into it. The first one is, are there any books that you started this year and that you need to finish? Yes. Earlier this year, I started Under the Lights by Delilah Adler. This book is a romance between two girls in Hollywood, and I remember when I read the synopsis, I thought it was going to be super fluffy and light and short, and that I was just going to fly through it. But after reading a few chapters, it just couldn't keep my interest. This is the second book in the series, and I've read reviews where they say you don't have to read the first book to enjoy the second book, but I think I might have to go read it. I don't know when I'm going to finish this book, but I really want to, I just don't want to force myself to read it. Hopefully I'll get to it by the end of this year. Number two is do you have an autumnal book to transition to the end of the year? The answer to this question would be a big fat no. I do not have any books to transition. However, I went through my shelves to see if anything would fit the question and I came up with Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. It's hard to pick a book to transition into fall when fall doesn't really exist here in Houston. However, I think that a classic romance would be a good start. Plus, I haven't read this book and I've been meaning to read it for the longest. I don't know, something about this book seems like it would be a good cozy time read. Number three is, is there a new release you're waiting for? And yes, I am waiting for From Another Point of View, which is a Star Wars anthology. I don't have the best history with Star Wars novels. The only one I've been able to get through is Ahsoka by E.K. Johnson, so I wasn't planning on reading this. However, I saw the people involved and about five minutes later, I pre-ordered it from Barnes & Noble. Some of the people involved are Renee Audie, Pierce Brown, Meg Cabot, Zoraida Cordova, Kieran Gillen, Ashley Atkinson, Daniel Jose Older, Greg Ruka, and Saba Tahir. And there are more people involved, but those are the ones I know and the ones that made me buy this book. I am so excited to read this anthology, especially whatever Zoraida Cordova writes because I love her so much and Labyrinth Loss is just everything to me. Number four is what are three books you want to read before the end of the year? The first one is Noteworthy by Riley Redgate and this is about a girl who pretends to be a boy so she can participate in her collegiate acapella group. So I've heard this described as a cross between She's the Man and Pitch Perfect which sounds right up my alley. Also I'm not sure I could be thinking about another book but I think this also has bi representation which makes me even more excited to read about it. The second book I want to read this year is the first book in the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan and I know I'm super late to the party on this one but I want to read it because if I like it there are so many other Rick Riordan books I can read and I could just stay in this world for a long time. My third one is Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo and I am so excited to read this book because Wonder Woman is my favorite character across comics, across book, across fiction. She's my fave. I've never read Lee Bardugo before but everyone seems to love her so I'm really excited to read what she's done. I just hope I haven't gotten my hopes too high. I mean, it's Wonder Woman, so I'm probably gonna love it no matter what. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna read this by the end of the year. Number five, is there a book that you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? Yes, I think Santa Olivia by Jacqueline Carey can be my favorite book. This is a futuristic dystopian that takes place in a desert war zone where people no longer have rights. And our main character is the daughter of a man who was genetically modified to be a weapon by the government. Besides that, all I know is that it has a romance between two girls and boxing. That is an amazing premise and I'm so excited to read this book. Lately, I've been burned with books with amazing premises and poor execution, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed on this one. Number six is, have you already started making reading plans for 2018? And before this tag, no, but I have now. I have two main goals for 2018. The first is to read books that I already own. And I know I won't complete this goal within 2018, but I want to start moving towards it. Like I'm sure a lot of you who are watching, I have a lot of books that I own but I haven't read yet. To be completely honest, I'm probably going to die in a library full of books that I own but I haven't read. So my goal is to make that library as small as possible. My second goal is to start annotating my books and read more critically. Sometimes I feel like I have a goldfish memory because I go through so many books so fast now but I forget why I love them. And it's sad because I've read some amazing books this year but if someone were to ask me why is this book so amazing, I wouldn't be able to give a very good answer. So hopefully by annotating my books, I can both remember and be more critical as I read. This was the end of the year book tag. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.